feel like I know weird fact. Like, like raccoons are immune to tetanus or something. Don't quote that... me on that. that. Sounds right. <laughs> someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs, and you can turn them in for side cards. Welcome back to another episode of Gamer Flavor. We just made it to the uh, to the store with enough arrowheads. We're getting the then. cobweb duster. Movie magic. The cobweb duster is a real world device that can project itself along with you into the mental world. Aim it at any mental cobwebs you find and press you up to collect the cobweb. You're so good at that <laughs> Later, bring the cobweb dust to Ancient Crawler's Sanctuary. <laughs> you ever have trouble reading? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> well, your captured cobwebs can be redeemed for cards, psi cards, and the mental cobweb detangler. What else can I do you for? Now with that, you can change the color of some of your psi powers. That's like your limitation now. ball. All right, go get oh more my heads. And One time... I was playing um, Shovel Knight, and Brad had already, you know, beaten it. And he was like, "You need to spend all your money on this armor. It's like the best armor in the game." Where would you so like I do it. I spent all Crawl. my money, and I was like, "What does it do?" He's like, "It's just pink. It just looks." Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and like to this day, if you ask yes, him about sir, it, he was like, "Yeah, I made sir. the right call. That's why I <laughs> steered her correctly." <laughs> <laughs> He'll never admit that he was trolling. Yeah. I think I can call the beast from here. Let's see. Oops. It sounds like a euphemism. Call the beast? Yeah. It's, it's, it's what I call my dong. <laughs> my magnum dong. <laughs> What's up, I love Always Sunny. Have you seen that? Where he drops yes. the condom. It's just a... I think he calls it a gargantuan condom for his magnum <laughs> dong or something. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. For those of you who didn't watch the last episode, that fish's name is Linda. He's out there skipping episodes. Get your life in there. <laughs> right? So much chaos in the world. Be gone, thoughts. Oh. You wanna go? In conjunction with uh I think a crow would fuck you up. <laughs> Probably. They're pretty smart, aren't they? Yeah, they're really intelligent. And they're like they like messing with people. <laughs> Oh, that's that's horrifying. I'm telling you, I don't know where. Going in this dude's head. This guy has yeah. topsy turvy. <laughs> Not another tracking device. <laughs> Look at his tiny little uh, shoulders. Baby shoulders. <laughs> Just he tries to pick up a book and his arm breaks and snaps right there. I never want like any of my ball joints. I don't want an injury to it's any perfect. of them. Perfect. Mm -mm. I know that's really specific. Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes. Now, which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those three D paintings? I can never do those. Me no, neither. You just gotta learn to see it. I don't think I've ever tried. I see it. There's something. Oh, in the I know where you see the spaceship see or whatever. Yeah. Like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. <laughs> Before noon, I mean. <laughs> nice. The squirrels have everyone fooled. The squirrels have everyone fooled. The... Hey, uh, where's the door? At the front, like most refrigerators. I scream, you scream, we all scream, we all scream. <laughs> all them haters. Hmm. The truth. 
Uh, and let's just say for now that they do this horrible thing, but I like that a lot of these plants are figments. Yeah. Well, someone has to get this information to the people. <laughs> what is happening up here? You know my house is clean, right? Right, boss? That looks like some deviant art screenshots. <laughs> I think this is his childhood. He had a puppy that died. He was dressed as a sad clown. His mom dressed him as a little girl. She wanted a girl. Maybe he used to have a sister. He ate her. Oh. That's it? <laughs> this guy's brain is just this house. And he's trapped in it with like newspaper clippings about the squirrels. Have, um... Was, is this the Rocky theme song that they do? Or like a variant? No, it's a variant. Yeah, it's it's a triumphant orchestral piece. <laughs> like, Rocky goes... When I was a teenager, I worked at Party City. Hmm. And uh, Party City was like a really fun job. And I, I would go down on a card aisle, and we had one that when you opened it, it played the Rocky theme song. And I would like slide it under the bathroom door when my coworkers were just <laughs> Excellent. And then like that one was mine, so I never put it back on my shelf to sell because it touched the bathroom floor. Very noble. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped him. He was about to talk about the five richest families. That the milkman? Milkman's dead? Milkman's <laughs> dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. <laughs> Is he dead or not? The lip cut media. No, Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. The analyticals, man. I ate a whole jar of olives with fluoride producers. <laughs> I would need a down. religious artifact with be careful. Oh. They're watching all I the love times. briny things. Okay. Now, like the briny uh, sea. How am I gonna find yeah. some creepy yes. graveyard in this? Yeah, see, this nice, is what's coming out with the physics. Neighborhood. The gravity's all funky. That's cool. I I love I love the concept here because then as you explore different characters and their brains represent them. Mm -hmm. Like it's just such such a great vehicle for creativity and humor. See, like <laughs> <laughs> he I believes the, the, the fire metal. extinguishers are taking pictures of him. Is it Metal Gear where the the guy like hides in his box and he's sneaking yes. around? <laughs> it absolutely is. He is the, he is serious about that box, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a scene in Metal Gear Solid 2 where you, you actually play as a different character and Snake, uh, the main character usually, is a background or a secondary character. And you're talking to him over your codec and he's just like, uh, never underestimate the importance of a cardboard box. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and he's he just starts talking about, he's like, I am not exaggerating when I say that that box can literally be the difference between life and death. He just, Are there any uh, scenes where someone else like just sees the box, acknowledges that it's weird, and just like lets him go by? Um, I'm trying to remember. So there's so the 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 thing about Metal Gear Solid 2 is it takes place on this like facility that's floating around in the water, and it's broken down into a hexagon, and there's different sections that you take little bridges to go between. So there's like the first half of the game and then the second half of the game separated by this bridge. And it's guarded heavily with like C4 and drones and shit. Well, you you can find out that woman's breasts, they're large. <laughs> what? <laughs> My red sign helps me work on the road. Caution, men working. No pedestrian traffic allowed. Slow to 15 miles per hour. <laughs> Oh, you can use your cobweb duster. Yay. Um, how do I... I'm hitting... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, there it is.
guess. Yeah, so anyway, you can find out, like, you can hear a conversation where they talk about how this cardboard box, like, oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm misremembering this. So what can happen is if you show up at the right time, you can watch Snake sneak across this bridge in a cardboard box. Oh, that's a fine little Easter egg. And you can, actu you can actually shoot it and attack it and he'll just like run away faster as pieces of the box, <laughs> box fall apart. That's hilarious. Um, yes. I bet you can go in that door that you just unlocked. The road is out and door working on it. Yeah, to the house that had the cobweb in front of it. But, oh, oh. I would right. just guess that the cobweb was there. I didn't know it worked that way. So you're talking about it was over here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't been trying to go in these houses. Look at this Illuminati book. I don't like the um, perspective this is. And oh no, it's 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 a little disorienting. Let's try the fridge. Maybe the uh, milk man's in there. What? Just select the fridge. There it is. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take it. All right, let's get out of there. That nightmare. I remember when I played this, I rolled around on my ball just like this, and I like I just kept falling off the sides. But <laughs> I had so much fun. Still rolling around. rolling around in your ball. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the South Park episode where uh, Randy had uh, giant balls because he stuck them in the yeah. microwave to get just a little big cancer weed? Shared. Just a little testicle cancer. <laughs> And she loved his giant balls, like she. <laughs> Did she? I don't remember that part. Yeah, I think they were she, like, they were doing a bit where, yeah, women just like get really turned on by big balls. <laughs> and then he made her a scrotum uh, skin coat. Oh yeah, oh that's. Good. Yeah. Stop. Yep. Stop. Yep. No pedestrian. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, we are all on the road crew. Our backs are killing us. They're really government workers, don't you know? What is this guy doing? I can climb telephone poles. <laughs> so just everyone works for the government in this guy's mind. I have a special yeah, thing. he is hardcore apparent. Maybe he's right. Oh, look, it was a bird with a camera on its head. Flamingos or cameras. Fire extinguishers. I didn't even look. Oh, out of that tree. Something popped out of that tree. Oh, yeah, I've noticed that when you walk by a little, I guess, cameras. To work on the phone lines. My favorite is yep. the little eyes peeking out of things. Like these ones. Out of the mailbox and the windows. An ashtray. I don't see that in games anymore. I think in Metal Gear Solid 5, um, so the main character in the, those games, you always get like a pack of cigarettes because as early as. I don't remember if they did it in the original series, but in Metal Gear Solid 1 on the PS1, you could use cigarettes to cause smoke, Someday you know, in front of you, which allowed you to see lasers. Make my job. So you knew where to, like, move and stuff. Is there anyone on the line? But it hurts your health. Like, your health slowly goes down as you use them. Okay. I know. I know Bioshock, uh, cigarettes is one of those. Oh, try to hit the trunk of that car. I think you can get stuff out. Because of my sense of professional responsibility. Yeah, Bioshock, you pick up um, alcohol and cigarette. I am trimming this hedge. Oh yeah, and it makes you drunk, which gives you back your uh, the entire neighborhood. Your Eve. Yes. I like the concept of that game a lot. I like watching your hand like deteriorate as you keep getting inside that house. Where did you get the red sign? What I don't like. Is um, they tried this effect every time you go through water, it like gets on your camera. Oh I yeah. Like we work on the road with these red I remember when they introduced that; it was a big deal. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? The trailer for Bioshock was really impressive. Are you the milkman? I should watch it. 
Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. <laughs> to the road crew. Thank goodness it is Friday. <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh no, what? Alright, let's see. I need my stop sign. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Was that clairvoyance? Hello, fellow road crew worker. Yes. Welcome to the road crew. So you see how you look to him. Yes. So when you're holding the sign, you use it. Road crew worker. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I use it on this guy. Yeah. Oh, is this how he views himself? No, that's how he views you. Oh, interesting. Okay. So earlier when you had the question marks, they're like, I don't know what this is. Hello. Okay. I can listen to any phone conversation that I want. But do so not I guess you need to pick up objects that will Operator. let you be seen as like every profession. So okay. that guy works on phones, you probably need some sort of phone thing or whatever. He was just holding a receiver, so I guess that's okay, all so I need. need. Yeah. I think you can hit the trash cans, too. Okay. As far as just, like, extra things to get. Did I miss anything? Is there a phone in here? I remember getting very disoriented in this level and just being like, what do I do for a really long time? I can see that. Maybe I can just jump this I way. Telephone poles. be a phone in the fridge. Makes just as much sense as any of this stuff. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. This I just keep Hello, punching. Oh, yeah. I am a rainbow squirt. Would Nightmare you like to buy a fuel. box of my delicious rainbow treats? No. I buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where we could buy some Good milk shock. for my I'm not cookies? a cop. <laughs> <laughs> ah, creepy man. Yeah, right? Any just rando comes up to you asking about milk. Have you noticed the milk? Uh, then um, Gates have made a comeback. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I I just see like I, I had TikTok downloaded for a while and deleted it, but like there's a lot of just like people getting really into roller skating. That sounds like fun. I, when I was a kid, I was really into rollerblading. I never got never into skating. It's different, but I loved rollerblading. Sewers are full of things. <laughs> He's got a plunger no on his face. Of alligators found alive in sewers. How does he see me? Nice. The most pleasant sewers can be found hey, neighbor. Paris, friends. Hey. I need to How about this weather, huh? Is one of my tools. We got some rain. We really needed it. So something I've uh, noticed I like is uh, Middle-aged white dudes love to say uh, we needed it when you talk about the rain. Yeah. I said it a lot when uh, the fires, I mean, they're still going, but like, uh, <laughs> when the fires first started and they were like getting real bad, and there was a weekend where it snowed here. Yeah. <laughs> so I was definitely that guy. I was like, we sure needed it. <laughs> <laughs> needed to put the fires out. Let's just like, there's so few topics we can all talk about without there being an issue. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, sometimes I, we have these like new hires that have only been working there for like three weeks, and sometimes I'll go in and catch myself talking to my boss about like, did you see that horrible debate? And then I have to stop myself and be like, I don't want to get into this. <laughs> right. Yeah, because you never know. Yeah. Come work on the phone lines with us. Have some crazy person be like, Yeah, I know, right? Like, uh, this part of the edge is they're gonna chip us all with that vaccine, right? This part of the hedge is too tall. 
And then my last packager at work, um, he was a full-blown conspiracy guy. Like, he went to Texas, and when he came back, I was like, okay, before you come back to work, I'm gonna need you to get a COVID test. Yeah. And, uh, he was, like, mad, and he was like, well, I better find a free one. I'm not paying for that. And I was like, I had to bite my tongue, because it's my, like subordinate right so yeah. i wanted to be like you paid for the laugh. ticket to fly to texas you can pay the extra whatever for the tests <laughs> are very popular it is a plague that you're like when my husband drinks endangering other people for yeah and then he like he came back he did get a test or at least he told me he did and then it was like three days later he texted us and was like you know what i actually quit i'm gonna go move to texas what's your favorite color <laughs> and then my boss what told me that the like man? recently what did the rainbow squirt what happened inside that house where did you get the red sign oh it's fine oh, they're just yeah. same question recently i guess he already moved back to denver it didn't work out in texas he texted the owner at like 1 a.m and was what? like I really liked what you were doing. Uh, maybe we can work together again. <laughs> Trying to get his job. <laughs> she said what she just hell? ignored him. <laughs> She's like, no thanks. Stop talking to me. You're going to get me in trouble. Just tell me where the milkman is. Yeah. Stop talking to me. Is she a real little girl trapped in the mind of this uh, he did security say he had guard? A little girl's brain. No, no, he didn't. That was the other. That was Oleander. Yeah. As the superhero. <laughs> yeah. The sewer is very important, and we are responsible for its upkeep. The sewer is very important, and we are responsible for its upkeep. Can you go past that other barrier? No I can. Behind you. Uh, where? Just the other direction. This, can you make it these past guys? these guys? Yeah. Well, they. I guess I could go around. Oh, you waste. need a plunger, probably. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe. That's to go into the sewer, but yeah, nice. okay. Okay. What are these dudes? They're playing flowers. I'm sure you need your clippers. Well, that was to get past that other, those other guys, but I don't really know what it accomplished. So many objects in this game. <laughs> oh, let's do this. Got it. This hat box needs a hat box tag. This hat box needs a hat box tag. Nerd. What is that? The, uh, was that, was that just a cobweb duster? Yeah. I <laughs> thought he would open the door, but I guess you gotta unequip it. Try going back. I think you do need to go where those dudes were doing the flowers. Try taking your head clip in there. Okay. And you bounced off the roof of one house into the back. This place is insane. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of these little girls. They're all just the exact same little girl. Maybe that was his sister. She's Aww. dead. She died since. It's the milkman that did it. One of these houses gonna have a phone in it or It's hard to tell what these camera angles they choose. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only trying to make money for our organism. This is the mail, I guess. Well, I think we'll have to figure this out on the next episode.
Thanks for watching. <laughs>